Okay, so uh, this is Taki and, and Dora. Yes, and we are sharing this conversation with you from Nikila Temple here in Finland. And we are celebrating Laura's decision to become a pillar at Nikila Temple. Every temple needs pillars, and Timo and I are two, not less, not more, and it does need more. And so Laura has stepped in, and I know that you've been feeling the call from the land itself, from the temple itself, from Nikola herself, for since the fall, since when was it? I don't mm. remember exactly, but I, I think it. I guess it was when I first saw pictures of Nikila um, yeah. at the, when the temple training started, and I didn't know basically anything about the place, nor about Finland, nor about the idea of temples. Basically, um, I just saw these pictures, and I thought, oh. This is a place that I want to be at. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think that was October. So it's been it's been many months, and uh, nine, and now the baby has been birthed. <laughs> Nikola has landed. It's happening, and you are our first visitor from abroad to stay in community. And I know you wanted to come also to to journey deeper here and decide if you wanted to become a bigger part of of this adventure of this temple and last night you decided yes and i know it's been a process you've shared some a little bit with with me and others here um a lot has had to move for you to come to that decision that's a, and that's one of the reasons why i asked you to to have this conversation on record so that others can can benefit from from that journey not that they won't have theirs it's not to spare but to say that when when money starts to move from personality the soul into life yes there is resistance that comes up and still soul can triumph so I don't know if you want to tell us a little mm. bit yes <laughs> what are some of the stuff that came up yeah yeah I mean it has been an interesting journey um because like i already before coming here i had felt a strong connection and a strong call from this land um mm. and it had been somewhere in the back of my mind that making an investment or becoming a pillar that that could be an option but i did not come here with mm. the intention of doing this mm -hmm. um and I think also probably because Timo wrote this letter for me that needed to be <laughs> because of the COVID situation there needed to be a letter for me to cross the border, the Finnish border. <laughs> and so the letter said I was going to invest. I wanted to invest. But I mean it was just a letter. Mm. Um but so it, it still was somewhere in the back of my mind. And yeah, I just I was really touched arriving here. Mm. There's like something in the place which feels, it feels like almost like coming home. And it's an incredibly beautiful place. Mm. There's so much life. Um, there's so much potential here. Um, yeah, it's almost as if I fell in love. <laughs> we share the same lover. <laughs> There's plenty of Nikola to go around, not to worry. <laughs> and and I know that then that then you had to face um, some deep beliefs and fears. Yeah. So basically, through that process of. Falling getting in love. <laughs> falling in love, getting closer in touch with the land, kind of this question, oh, but it is a tangible potential possibility for me to make this investment. Um, then all this stuff came up. Mm -hmm. um, and like all this like very deep contraction started to happen. Um, although it was really just was just an idea. There was no pressure at all mm. in doing this. Um, so there was a there was a deep fear that came up um, related to I need that I need this money for my safety um, 
and especially related to kind of old age and what if I'm alone, mm. sick, I need support mm. and it's kind of this money is the safety net. Mm. And ah yeah. yeah. That and then interestingly enough there was <laughs> there was another contraction which I mean it feels like almost as if it's the opposite um, like if there's something so beautiful I just want like I just want to have it to myself mm. like if I have money why don't I just go and buy something beautiful for me mm. why should I yeah why should I give money to somebody else <laughs> yeah and I remember when you shared these two with me and I said to you you know it sounds like they're just the two sides of the same coin because in both of those um, you know there's either the poor me like I'm, I, I, I'm not enough or there isn't enough and so I need this or the look at you know I'm I'm important or I should have mine and you know and it, they may seem totally opposite but they're actually the same the same coin and the root this how would you put what was the root that you found well how would you put it in your words what did they have in common or what was it really about mm, that's a good question actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good question I mean it, it, yeah it, it feels like being very much related to this survival instincts and um and actually a fear of death to mm. some level mm. and it also felt as if it wasn't just mine only especially this mm. thing about needing to have money as a safety net um, it's also very much part of my family for example mm. yeah. Um, I mean, raise your hand if it isn't. <laughs> Basically, I mean, I know for sure in mine also this. We come from parents who lived through wars and lots of um, financial challenges overall in general. And so it's part of our collective inheritance. So, yeah, for sure. And for some, even more intense than, than others. So, mm. um, yeah, for sure. And then we have still in those to come the decision of does the buck stop here we have a choice because we can keep passing that on and keep and one thing i said to you is because i've heard this of like you know i i need to plan for my old age or i need to you know this and that and, and it's my mom's story also and and I, I always you know i come to like so you're aiming to die, to, to be on your deathbed or to be old and alone and that, like you're planning for it. You want to make sure it happens and that you're prepared. Like, you know, it's like this thing of like, what, you stop to think about what am I doing? Like, okay, I'm actually betting on that by saving, by holding on to this for that. It, you know, there's no judgment on, on becoming an investor or not becoming an investor, but like, you know, just think of what is it like in the most rational way, is this, does this make sense? Um, and that's another thing you said, I remember you said, you know, that, that it's rational to, 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 how Oh was yeah, it? there was also like this, it's, it, it makes good sense to be careful with mm -hmm. money. Yeah. And that sounds much more, it sounds like a very normal statement yeah. that like almost everybody might just agree to that, mm -hmm. but it also feels like on a more subtle level, it's still a contraction. Or it comes from this place of, yeah. of fear and contraction. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So to be able to distinguish between like what is clean and clear, like, yeah, this is true for me in, in where I'm at right now, uh, versus like a very, very socially acceptable mask for the same fear, for the same contraction, which is survival, me, mine, I, that you know whether it's me mine I and this beautiful thing or me mine I I'm gonna die alone and therefore I have to like 
you know, take care of myself or whatever version you have going on. Everybody's got their version. And so there's no judgment, zero. Everybody's got their version. And because for the money piece to be liberated, meaning to start to operate, to be uh, at the disposal of soul, love with a capital L, not romance or relationship, not that love, but love with a capital L, soul, purpose, the collective in service, not from a place of martyr, not from a place of I don't deserve, I need to give because that's, you know, how I belong or how that's how I I can get loved or, you know, whatever. Those are all wounds, but from a real place of authenticity of soul, of letting soul have some decision power over your bank account, um, that of course, it's going to bring up all this stuff, whatever is in our base, and it's going to shake survival, death, and much more so than sexuality, much more so than anything else, money, money, absolutely, <laughs> and I remember you saying, because I offered, you know, I was like, well, if you need support, you know, we can talk about it, or, you know, it can help you, or whatever, um, in a very neutral way, and, and your response was that it was through the land, it was through connecting you know, with Nicola, that you were just letting, letting it unfold and mm. that it was just by being here that, that you didn't actually need it. And of course, whatever mm. you already know to do for yourself, mm. to process yourself. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I think there were two things that happened. Um, and one thing it really needed, it really needed work to be able to step back from these contractions to not let them take over yeah um and and also to speak them and also to speak them even though it sounds i don't know <laughs> yeah uh, well yeah, yeah th 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 maybe you felt ashamed yeah, or even though afraid it to sound admit like silly fears but it's not silly no. fears no no not by any means mm. no, they're mm. huge mm. they're huge mm. and that's also a space that you know, these temples or soul groups um, provide is where you can feel safe enough and loved enough that it's okay to be seen in these in what is also alive there that is a contraction it doesn't mean it's going to run the show like you said it took work to not let it take over um, but it's it's to be heard to be witnessed in that to be felt mm. in that um, without any therapy or without any, you know, any, any, anything that needs to happen, but just to get it out, um, and still not let it run the show. That mm. is mm. that. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> and so basically, and what was really beautiful that after having been with the, with these fears and having worked with them, um, like almost, mm like almost as like an act of grace almost where it felt mm. like although something that I had understood rationally um, it felt like it was finally I understood it with my with my being with my body um, that money can actually mm. really be in service to soul and that understanding was like there was a huge kind of moment of liberation around that <laughs> like it really it, it opened this contraction and um, yeah and it gave me a feeling of being much more aligned with my purpose because all of the sudden mm. something so big was and something so fundamental it felt like oh this can be part of purpose of, of alignment, of being in line with my values. Yeah, and last night when we were sharing about it, because we, we had a talk and then we had dinner, um, you said that you felt, first of all, that you felt honored, and that also you felt this, like this, Ex yeah. Yeah, because then, so then that happened, and then it was like, oh, okay, so I have this freedom around money. But then, why should? It <laughs> but then I was still wondering, like, why? Why should it go to Nikila? Mm. Like, 
and and why why would I like what's the real reasons behind it mm. um and and then I was really sitting with this and and being here and um yeah and there was a strong in, on with this question there was the strong calling from this place that basically wanted me to do this and and this is what Haki said this is what really mm. it, it touched me deeply because this is what feels like less like me giving something mm. but it's like an honor to be called to to serve this um, and then it was also no more kind of it was beyond question then it was certain to me that um, this is what I want to do and this is what I what I am going to step into and when you stepped into it you felt that yeah and and yeah and yeah and the beautiful thing is that um, through that like because it feels like an honor um, and because I sometimes also struggle with my own self-worth mm. and it's as if through doing that there's a deeper basis there's this there's this land holding me mm. and there's this I don't know a sense of belonging a sense of being backed by this life here um, yeah and, and through that it really yes it's an investment of money but it's also a much much deeper process yeah and at that point I remember Timo saying that you know it's it doesn't make sense that Taki is an investor in Haydn and Bruce is an investor in um, Nikola like for the same amount of money and like it, it doesn't make any you know like financial sense practical sense but energetically you know this I know that by being an investor in Haydn that I'm backed by Haydn I'm backed by a temple a mystery school I'm backed by by the earth itself and I because I'm willing to stand for that it's not a trade in exchange but it is a a mutual reciprocity of 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 at one meant of becoming one and merging with the place and that can be done in many different ways but to allow your base to to go through that through the money piece is is a huge way of doing it of course um, and which will bring up a lot of stuff and this is an example of what it can bring up um, this is Lara's specific situation um, and it doesn't matter you know the amount you know it's it's whatever it's an whatever is enough to tip over <laughs> your stories and beliefs and wounds and traumas around the money piece yours your families and the collectives really uh, will all start to surface yeah and and i i guess one more question um i, I remember you saying like yeah i want this to happen like n not about the investing but like nikola i i want like the temples this this kinds of places with with how the world is like that this is important that these places exist and also with what we're looking at with the the deconstruction of our our political systems our economic systems our health systems are so much of what's falling apart that places like this it's important that they exist and so i know that that's one of the reasons you were moved to become a pillar also but that could be with any temple in particular you have a relationship between you and Nikola and that's between you and Nikola like you're a pillar for Nikola it's not for Timo and I it's it's with Nikola and that's very clear as is our commitment individually not as a couple even that we're individually committed to Nikola to to hold point but so yeah this this sense of this has to happen I don't know if there's anything you want to comment about that about the temples and about them being places that are like not of refuge like to escape but of to, to balance out or to hold a certain vibration hmm yeah yeah I mean one one other thing that like came to me before but also has become again very clear here is that 
yeah, I, I do find it very important that this happens. Um, and I, one of the reasons being is that there is going to be so much mm. chaos and difficulties. And I, I just, I truly believe that it needs these places um, mm. to help humanity manage this transformation. Mm. And it really needs these places where the work can be done together with the energies of the land yeah. um, because it's really that that gives enough power for the transformation um, and I also strongly feel that this wants to happen here mm -hmm. it's not it's not random um, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah 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 yeah, and, and for us it's very important that those who do join as investors are can can have that relationship with the temple, with the land itself, and that it's a yes to that. It's not, um, yeah, because they want to be closer to us or because it's the thing to do or, you know, like anything like that. It's a, it's a very, it's a much deeper call. It's a soul movement and also life. That, that like when you said that the land wants this to happen like th that you invest and that you become a bigger part of the adventure and and for me that's like the the life force that comes through the earth speaking to you from this particular portal this particular vortex for whatever reasons and saying yes stand here with me as well it doesn't mean you have to live here or you know anything like that but yes here with me as well um, and as we humans begin to reconnect and refine our uh, reconnect to the groups of people we are meant to journey with not because we were born in a certain culture religion or family um, or country area but because these are there's soul resonance and also as we find what our purpose is as, as a soul being here in a human body there's a reason why I've incarnated and there's a piece I've got to play but also then the where that, that where is it that I I take a stand and and I know you had not been to Finland before and you have no affiliation with Finland no. in particular you know I, I didn't either before I married into the country <laughs> um, but I this there's just this knowing which is beyond personality beyond any reasoning or explanations that it's just that you can feel it so what what i really want to say is that that we are all as a humanity in that journey of as humans to listen and to start hearing the calls and to um start exploring what is it to actually commit to a land and maybe it's that patch of land behind you you know wherever you're sitting maybe it's a potted plant in your 20 stories apartment in New York City you know whatever it is uh, big or small it doesn't matter but to make a commitment to to land for X amount of time and to be a guardian of it and to listen it's not like I need to protect it you know, it's the, the, the fierceness and power and honest of this place is like if I ever had any like illusions that I need to protect this, you know, it's like, no. Um, but I, I am I am asked as you have been asked to be to be a guardian to to help co-create and co-emerge what is yet to reveal itself. And so to 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 start listening and feeling and and responding to those calls from lands so that if, if anything and and to to allow money to be in service to that doesn't mean you have to live under the bridge Laura will not be living under a bridge you, nobody <laughs> you know needs to live under a bridge or maybe you do I don't know but <laughs> that's not the intention um but that that we start to you know from the clutches like the the clutches of the personality stories like you've heard from Laura and others that I have mentioned in other videos and Bruce has mentioned and others will mention of beliefs and traumas and wounds that keep us separate, disconnected, in fear, and definitely not in alignment with love or soul or our own power or the power of land um, to, to start removing a bit, you know, 10 one euro 
10 euros, whatever you, you know, can get out of the clutches and, and keep going until it starts to, you start to feel the shake in the, in the base or the pain. Like, you know, if it's 10 is easy, then go up a bit, mm. you know, <laughs> like just yeah. say, yeah. Because, because yeah. also really, I, I thought I was pretty clear about money. Yeah. Like I, I wasn't aware yeah. how much contraction there still was yeah. until I started thinking about something that is beyond kind of these 10 euro. Mm -hmm. or a smaller donation or something mm -hmm. um yeah that's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely when you start getting out of your comfort zone you will be shown <laughs> what kept you in it <laughs> yeah yeah so to test yourself okay what is it what is it what is it and so because it's a purification it's for your growth like you said it's an honor it's an honor for us too for timo and i that it's it's a purification that you know you're not taking any of it to your grave no no <laughs> and you know if, if once once you give you receive in ways that are you know um, indescribable and based on whatever your karmas are and what you need in this life but you will certainly receive and it's it's a matter of trusting trusting but not to live under a bridge um, unless you really feel that that you need to face that uh, but to push just over just a little bit outside of the comfort zone so that you can start to witness and feel and purify what are the contractions. Mm. Mm. So blessings, that's <laughs> our, our desire and the reason why I asked Laura to do this and I'm super, super grateful because she's not the video type. Um, <laughs> but she was willing because we, we wanted to share what is the stuff that comes up and what is the real, you know, in real time, this is just happening this week and last night decided upon and she's leaving tomorrow. Um, she was here for two weeks, so that that you feel the mm. the reality of of the the initiation potential of of Nikola of the temples and the money piece is part of it. Not that you have to invest, but that you go through your process. And so hopefully this inspires you. Is there anything else you want to say? No, nothing. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Taki. <laughs> Yay! The temple has another pillar. 